Hello and welcome to the 16th unit of the CUTE tutorial from tutorialcoding.com. In this unit I wrap up the queue line edit class by introducing its remaining specialties echo mode, text alignment, placeholder text, read only mode, embedded clear button and autocompletion. The demo shows the features in action. In some situations, it's not desirable to view what is being entered. Switching to a different echo mode solves this problem. Aligning text uh, works the same as with queue labels. Placeholder text is shown when the line edit is empty. Read-only mode disables editing. An embedded clear button can be enabled. Autocomplete offers input options based on the text fragment already entered. Echo mode. I'd like to highlight that this code uses a new syntax construct. The first draft for this example had many methods for the controls. These had very few lines of code making the whole program unseemly. To fix this, I switched to lambda functions that inline the business logic of slots where the signals are connected. This made the code more readable. Back to echo mode. Changing it is done with the set echo mode method. It takes one argument which can have four values. Normal. The default behavior, text is shown as it is entered and stays visible afterwards. Useful for non-sensitive data entry. No echo. The line edit shows no feedback of the entered text whatsoever. This is the most secure mode, as even the length of the input is hidden, along with its value, but it's awkward to use. Password. The entered characters are blacked out. Contrary to no echo, this mode proves some visual feedback when characters are entered. This is a user-friendly way to avoid shoulder-surfing security breaches when entering press passwords. Password echo on edit. This is an oddball mode that shows the text when it's entered, but blacks it out when the line edit loses focus. It's rarely useful. Text alignment. This works the same way for the Q line edit widget as it does for the Q label widget. See unit 11 for detailed explanation. Placeholder text. This is visible when the line edit is empty. 
it has a different style than normal input to make it stand apart. It's set with the set placeholder text method, which takes a string argument. Passing an empty string to it will remove any placeholder text. Read only and clear button. These are two simple attributes taking a boolean argument. The set read only method toggles the line edits read only mode. The set clear button enabled toggles an embedded button in the line edit. When the button is pressed, it clears the input. Autocomplete. This is implemented using the QCompleter class. In this example, it takes a list of strings on initialization to determine how to complete the user input. The setCompleter method takes a pointer to a QCompleter and enables autocomplete on a line edit. Passing the value 0 will remove any previously set completers. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find the unit sources and notes on the tutorialcoding.com website that you can reach by clicking on the orange annotation. If you found this unit video insightful and enjoyable, please like it and leave a comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my Google Plus or Twitter feed. Goodbye.